What's up guys, it's Dom Matter here, and today we're going to be reacting to Freedom Tune, something we haven't watched in, I, I want to say like a month or so actually. It's been a while since I've reacted to one of their videos, but I had a couple requests to react to this one. Uh, it's an older-ish video now, I guess. It's been about a month. I think it was actually the last one updated uh, after we last reacted to them. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, is Canada's suicide program diverse enough? So for those of you who aren't aware, Canada has... Uh, I want to say a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. It's been a while now, um, but they legalized euthanasia and there's been a bunch of controversy around that because uh, with the Canadian healthcare system, a bunch of people are being suggested that it would be better for them to do that instead of other things by healthcare professionals. Um, a whole bunch of controversy surrounding it. Uh, it's kind of become a hot button issue that surprisingly isn't even a left or right divide everyone thinks it's kind of fucked up which is you know kind of unique that they, they were able to piss everyone off but anyway link to the original video down below and, and again this is is canada suicide program diverse enough from freedom tunes let's jump into it in today's news canada's medically assisted suicide program has drawn criticism from many who say it's not going far enough <laughs> citing concerns that while the canadian government is offering people the opportunity to kill themselves it's not doing enough to encourage them sure canada is providing suicide to everyone who wants it but are they doing enough to get black disabled and indigenous populations interested in killing themselves <laughs> that's fucked up but i mean they're definitely doing enough for the disabled uh, that's been a, again, like I was saying, that's been a huge hot button issue um, that everyone thinks is kind of fucked up. They've, uh, there, there's been a couple stories come out now. I'm not sure exactly how many. I haven't really kept up with it too much. Uh, I just see them pop up every once in a while, but they'll basically, they'll have some person that needs like assisted living or something like that. And they'll have government officials and healthcare officials and all of this suggesting that they just off themselves. The activist group cited disturbing statistics, such as how few black people actually killed themselves last year. Oh, that <laughs> is disturbing. Golly. The publication of this data has led Black Lives Matter to join the fight to push for more equal representation in medically assisted suicide. My black brothers and sisters should not have to go to the doctor fearing that no one will take their life. Many hospitals have responded by introducing affirmative action policies to their assisted suicide programs, allowing minorities who wouldn't ordinarily qualify for medical suicide to be given the opportunity. That's waiving fucked. prerequisites like having a disability, being in pain, or wanting to die at all. Oh, thank goodness, problem solved. If only. Today we have a spokesperson for Canada's It Gets Worse program to tell us what you can do to encourage more people to kill themselves. Thank you for having me. Unfortunately, this barely scratches at the problem. Canada has solved the problem of citizens wanting to die but being unable to. But there are millions of people who still don't seem to realize that they should want to die. The disabled, <laughs> the impoverished, minorities, my wife and her family, etc. <laughs> but what about the many... <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah that's, that, the, the disabled and the poor, it's basically it, right? It's a lot like uh, Margaret Sanger-esque when it comes to like the, you know, the initial intentions of abortion. Disabled people who report a high quality of life. Well, I'm not sure why they should get to decide their life is high quality. I think they're super gross. In the long run, ending their lives is an act of mercy towards me. <laughs> Agree. It's cruel to let them go out in public depressing the rest of us. Golly. All interesting points, but as you know, this effort on the part of global corporations to push for more suicides is not without its opponents, with some critics saying institutions shouldn't be pushing people to kill themselves at all, and that this is a role for the family. Mothers and fathers need to take more accountability for the fact that their children aren't killing themselves. This isn't Coca-Cola or McDonald's fault. They're doing more than anyone else to push us into early grades. It's families who are failing. Oh, I agree. Families need to take more responsibility for getting their loved ones to end it absolutely <laughs> but how oh there's a lot you can do just this holiday season exclude them from family events don't check in on them if they seem depressed uh, assume their latest suicide attempt was just for attention and don't worry about it see the issue with family oriented solutions like this though is that so many people don't have the kind of support system to push them to kill themselves that's why our organization will send bullies to people's homes to harass them until they don't want to live anymore. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine? <laughs> Government-sponsored bullying. So, if you know someone who should probably just end it, but doesn't have the proper support, call us. <laughs> so fucked up. Uh, I still can't believe that program is around. And, uh, it's, it's honestly ridiculous to me. 
Like, and, and the fact that, like, it's actually, like, they have government, like, government officials recommending it to certain people. That's, like, the most ridiculous part. It's just absolutely insane. But anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully it's a little bit more chipper.